that's the essay question of the show right now. What is an economy that works for everybody? Because I, I really want to know. All right, here is Bobby. You're on News Radio 1110 KFAB. Hey, hello, Chris from Los Angeles. Uh, wow. Uh, you, yeah, you may or may not know this, but I'm actually the greatest caller in the history of talk radio. So uh, I we'll see. Call here. We'll see, right. sir. Was, we'll see. Now, listen, listening to right wing wacko radio lots of times, I've always noticed uh, many people on the right always claim that, you know, uh, this uh, low government, low taxes, that kind of economy, non socialistic, non communist country, that's the way to go. And obviously, I agree. I live in America. I love America. But I'm always curious. How can anyone claim one way works? If one way works, Results. every country. Right, well, but no, but, but hear me on this. If, if one way was truly the way to make an economy great, then all the countries, minus the insane dictator monarchy countries, all the countries would adopt that way to make it work because they want money. Not necessarily. Okay, but if you if you don't include dictatorship countries, yes, necessarily. Also, also. Well, wait, 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 wait a minute. You can't make dictatorships vanish, okay, because now you're waving a magic wand. No, but what about, then, then you'd have to answer, why is it that countries that don't fall under dictators and monarchies, why don't they adopt the same way? Because there's no such thing as one way fits for all. It, what I was going to go to my other point was, even people in communistic social countries, socialist countries, you have to ask yourself, why are there some people in communistic and socialist countries that are happy with those kind of countries? They say it works. Because they, they don't know any better. Happy. Sorry? Because they don't know any better. Okay, but if it works, who are you? But they also that? have no purpose, and it's not working if people are limited. Says who? Says who? Well, it says nature. Every human being, every creature desires freedom. Every creature. You're right. Well, do, do I? Well, do I get to talk? I'm sorry. I don't know how much time I have here. As a well, it's so. okay, sir. We're just having a little conversation. I think you're. you're it's fascinating. I, I love your perspective. But you. every living being desires to be free. That's why you see people uh, taking rafts across the Florida Straits trying to get to America and right. and, and 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 risking their lives in shark filled waters. But you don't see people thinking, you know, uh, I'm going to, you know, I would vote for Bernie Sanders, but I don't know if he's going to get the nomination. So I'm just going to go sneak into Cuba. Okay. You see people leaving Cuba, but you don't see people going to Cuba. Here's my answer to that. Obviously, as an American, I love the way America is in general. It's not perfect, but I love America the way. And yes, I agree with you that most people, or I guess maybe even all people, want to be free. There's no disagreement there. But when you paint the broad brush, you meaning whoever, uh, that says this is the only true way, and anyone else who doesn't like it, it's because, like you said, they don't know any better, that's just you're making a broad assumption because, again... Well, you actually cut me off because what I'm saying is some people don't know better or they don't have a purpose. So they resign themselves to whatever their lot in life is. And there are, there are people in all countries that are that way. But then there can are other people. Apl- can who, they be applied to Americans? Well, that's what I said, all countries. There are people right here in the United States right. who are quite happy where they are. I, I, you know, it's interesting. I, I've told this story before. But I met a girl of two, uh, several years ago, and uh-huh. she was uh, in Wisconsin. And we were just talking about, you know, a little bit of politics here, and we were talking culture, and and she said, you know, I'm I'm happy where I'm at. I got I have a job. I go to work. I put in my eight hours. I get a paycheck. I go home right. on the weekends. I sit here and I drink beer with my friends. I'm happy with that. Okay, okay. good for okay. her, and right. that's good. She's able to make that choice, but other people should be able to make different choices. You're going, no matter what, whether it's America's way or communist China's way or country like... Well, they'll just kill you. Communists will just kill you if you don't comply. So no matter what choice you make, you're going to have some conflicts. But as you said, it depends on the person. Uh, You didn't say that, but I mean it depends on the person. Everyone is happy in their own way. So don't you think it's a little bit arrogant when people here in America, and again, I love the way it is in America in general, when they make it seem like our way is the only true way and every other way that doesn't do it is wrong or misinformed or something. Well, what would be a better way? This is a fascinating okay. conversation. It's, it's, it's great. I love it. What is the best way? I guess it depends who you ask. And secondly, when it comes to what is the best way, 
What way in the world has proven that it's the ultimate best way? Capitalism. So are there not homeless people suffering here in capitalism? Yeah. Uh, but how did they get in, there? Are there not people who have health Whoa, 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 wait a minute. How did they get there? Capitalism, oh. if you look at history, capitalism, individual liberty, economic freedom, has lifted millions, if not billions, of people around the world out of abject poverty. Again, and I'm for America's way. In socialist countries, are there not people who have been helped by socialist countries, communist countries? Does that happen sometimes? Are there not people in America who go to socialist countries to save money to work on their health? I, I, have, I would imagine... But that doesn't that doesn't disprove a theory of capitalism over a theory of socialism. Yeah, you're right. But that's, that's if some point. if somebody decides, you know what, I dig the lazy socialist life, and I'll go there and comply, and they won't kill me until I get older. Oh. Okay, no, 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 there's your choice. No, 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 no. But no, I don't Chris, know anyone that does that. But when you paint the broad brush as as if this is the only true way, how do you answer the fact? that there are people who prefer to go to the socialist countries to save money to work on their health. How do you because, explain the fact that people because who have health problems in those if countries it's are because, the government? Because if it's their choice to go live in a country like that, then that would make them happy. But if they have no choice, like right. say a family in Venezuela or a family in Cuba or... Uh, a family in any other fascistic uh, socialist country. If you don't have the choice, then to me, there's no way you can say that that system is better because you're not allowing people to make those choices. Here in this country, we kind of still are able to make those choices, but there seems to be a lot of people who are trying to take that choice away from us by using such slogans as, we need to build an economy that works for everybody. How does the economy not work for everybody? The only people in America have the choice to go out to other countries. Other people... Well, other nobody said that. Well, that's what you're implying. No, no, no. That's what you think I'm implying because that's apparently what you want me to imply. You see. Uh, so okay, well, that's, that's, that's the difference here. You know? Okay. Well, okay. well, I'll, I'll give you. I'll, I'll All right. Well, I have to. I, I, I have to go. I have to go to my commercial break here, sir. Oh, just one That's, thing for capitalism. Well, I got to. I got to do my thing. I got to go. I got. Speaking of capitalism, I got to pay bills, sir. You're a fascinating right, well, thanks, caller. I'm so happy that you joined us. Have I proven I'm the greatest caller in the history of radio? I don't know yet. We don't know, Mary. Mary, what do you think? Jerry's out, but he's awfully good. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Good. All right. Well, there you go, sir. I don't know. I don't know if you'd be the greatest, but I think you should keep working at it, no matter what. Well, hello from Los Angeles, the Dodgers and Lakers rule. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Thanks for the call. Chris Faker Radio Show, 402-558-1110. It's <laughs> News Radio 1110 KBB. I need an answer. What is an economy that works for everybody? Chris Baker. Hillary Clinton makes. 